Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. This might be a little bit of a surprise for you. <laughs> so I don't usually make another video so soon after my floss tube goes up, but I have decided that I want to get involved with March Stitchy Madness. I'm a little bit late because we're already in March and it's supposed to start on the 1st, but never mind you know I um I regretted not taking part in it last year because I thought that it looked really really fun um so yeah it kind of sprung up on me again this year I was like oh I forgot about it um so yeah I do I do want to give it a go this year but we are a little bit late so I thought that I would make a little flush tube extra and just go through my plans with you and what I have chosen to include in my brackets. For those who are unaware of what March Stitchy Madness is, I will put um, Steel City Stitchers video into the description so that you can go and check it out. I'll also put it on the eye above um, because they will explain it a lot better than I can. Um, but just to give you a little quick brief overview, it's essentially a tournament um, that you have for your stitchy projects. So you have um, your brackets that are made I'll show a picture of what I mean here and you either pick eight of your projects or you can pick new starts if you like and you kind of start by stitching on the first two so the first day you'll stitch on your first project second day you'll stitch on your second project then after those two days this is what I will be doing I will go on Instagram create a poll um, and you guys get to decide which will move on to the next bracket um, you do that for all of those first eight that are on the left hand side and then people vote on them and they move on to the next round and people keep voting and so on and so forth until you're finally left with a winner. The idea is that you then take that winner, stitch on that for the rest of March and hopefully you've got something finished for the end of March. Apparently, according to Jody from Steel City Stitches, the idea is to fully finish it. Um, but it, it seems quite like free, like you can uh, take the structure as you like. And that is what I am doing because I am doing it quite different to what everybody else is doing. So what my plan is, is that I am going to finish what I'm stitching on at the moment. So some of you may or may not that I am hosting my first sal. So I am stitching Hello Sunshine. Um, and I'm hosting that with Sean from Craft of Fitting Creations. So I wanna make sure that I finish part one of that. Then once that's done, which I'm nearly there, I think I've just got the flamingo to do um, for part one. So once I've done that, then I will start March Stitchy Madness. And yeah, I've already created my bracket um, or filled in the, the thing. I don't know what it's called. I need to know what it's called. It really helped me with this video right now. Um, but I just wanted to use this video to explain to you what projects I have picked for each part. Um, I thought that it would be better to do it now and do a little flush tube extra rather than coming to you in April and be like, oh, by the way, I did this. Um, so yeah, let's go through it now. So I did take a little bit of inspiration from Kristen from Steel City Stitchers because she had like a little, a little category game for each section of her bracket. Um, so I have done something very similar. For our first section, our first two projects, we have got Clash of Colours and the two projects that I'll be working on with that are Sailor Moon and Northern Lights. So I'll quickly go through those now. So here we have Sailor Moon stuff. Um, I don't actually have a ton left on this one. Um, I have just got to fill in the moon here. So I think that I should do that in a couple of sittings. So yeah. That Sailor Moon stuff, as you can tell, is Clash of Colours because this one is very, very colourful. Um, so yeah, that's the first one. Next, we have Northern Lights. I actually haven't put that many stitches into this one, um, but it is a very colourful one. So that's why I thought it would be perfect for Clash of Colours. Um, I think I only worked on this once and that was back in May last year when I did Mania. So yeah, this one needs some love, so... Yeah, I'm quite happy, quite excited to be working on this one. The next category I have chosen is Fight of Fantasies. And for that, I have chosen the projects Fellowship of the Ring and Final Fantasy VII. So here's Fellowship of the Ring. I feel like I've shown this tons on my channel recently, um, but it is part of one of my goals that I wanna get it finished this year. So yeah, it's a Lord of the Rings piece, hence the fantasy element of it. 
so that is what I'm going to be working on next. And then we have Final Fantasy VII, which is another full coverage piece. I did think about maybe having um, the category name to do with full coverage, but I really like Fighter Fantasies. Um, thank you to Mark for thinking of that for me. Um, so yeah, we got Final Fantasy here. And I worked a little bit on this. I think it, it, I just know that it's going to take me a while because it's it is quite big and it's full coverage. Um, but I'm quite pleased with what I've done so far with the building and the top of Cloud's head. My next category is Critter versus Critter. <laughs> so the two projects that I'm going to be working on are B and the Meadow. So first of all, we have B, which is here. Again, I haven't worked on this in such a long time, but this is the pattern on the hexagon Ada, which is from Claire Brown X Stitch. Um, so yeah, I'm really excited to put some stitches into this one because I think it's going to be lovely when it's done. And then we have Meadow. This one is a Buffy Threads Arendelle design, so this is what it will look like when it's finished. And this is how much I've worked on it so far. Okay, for our last category, this is where it gets a little bit controversial. <laughs> and when I said that I was doing my own thing, this is where it's kind of, I'm definitely doing my own thing. So I currently have eight whips, which is perfect for this because you need eight different projects. However, two of them are stitch alongs and by the time that I will be starting March Digi Madness, I will be up to date on both of those cells. So the alternative of what I could do is start something new. However, I am at the moment quite reluctant to start something new. I know it might sound weird to some because they have tons more whips than what I've got but I think eight is a good number for me. It's where I feel quite comfortable. So I do want to reduce more down before I start any new ones. So what I have decided to do is to repeat two of the projects that I've already said and they have got their own category. So this one is Battle of the OGs and that will be Fellowship of the Ring and Sailor Moon again because they are my oldest projects. I started them in 2020, um, hence why they're called the OGs and they are the two that I am um, really wanting to put more stitches in this year. They're the two that I definitely want to finish this year. So that is, not that I've got any preference on what you vote for, you can vote for whatever you like, but I just, it's more for those first few days, I get to work a couple more days on Fellowship and Sailor Moon um, rather than anything else. And I will just quickly show you those again, so. This one is the Fellowship, and this one is Sailor Moon stuff. So now that I've explained to you what they all are, I will show you the bracket that I have created. And yeah, I am so excited for this. I just couldn't resist having a go. I know that I'm twisting the rules a little bit and that I am a little bit late starting, but like I say, I just really regretted not joining in last year. And also, I think it's a great opportunity to do some work on all of my whips because some of them, most of them, um, I haven't worked on in a really long time. Um, so I think it's it's a good exercise to kind of just have a little bit of a go at each one and then I might kind of be like, oh, I do actually really enjoy stitching on this. So I might put some more time in it and get excited about it again. So that's the plan. Um, with me repeating the last two projects and that last category, I am aware that there is a chance that it could be the same project versus the same project. So Sailor Moon versus Sailor Moon or Fellowship versus Fellowship. If that happens, I'll cross that bridge when I get to it. <laughs> Maybe I'll just put the poll to be, you can vote for either one. Um, but yeah, I just didn't want to 
start something new because I just know that it will overwhelm me. That's what happened with Mania. So I did Mania last year where I started nine new things and shortly after that I had a break from cross stitching because I just got completely overwhelmed. So I want to still make it fun for me while still joining in. So I hope that's okay. I hope no one's mad at me. <laughs> <laughs> so I'm going to finish part one of Hello Sunshine first, but once I have finished that, that's when I'll be taking part in March Madness. So head over to my stitching Instagram if you want to take part two. Um, I'll be keeping that up to date. My grid post should say when I'm starting March Stitching Madness, and then I will be putting it in my stories for the polls and when you need to vote and all of that stuff. So yes so yeah let me know your thoughts on my plans and i would also love to know if you're secretly rooting for one project in particular <laughs> pop it in the comments if you are if there is one that you really really want me to finish as soon as possible and yeah that's all i've got for you it's a bit of a, a short and sweet video but like i say i didn't want to just come back in april and say oh i participated in this but you know nothing about it um so yeah i hope that everybody enjoys the rest of their weekend and I should see you next time. Bye.